What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, uh, you know, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. And here we go. So this here uh, comes from Sam. And uh, they said the following about location on DoorDash. He goes, hi, Pete. I'm Sam. I DoorDash and do Uber Eats in Surprise, Arizona. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, re recently on my DoorDash app, I've had to turn on my location permissions to accept my location all the time, meaning always running in the background, even if the app is shut down. I used to have I used to have it set up to just track my location while the app was running, but now it will not accept that configuration. So at the end of the day, I have to go in and turn the location's permissions completely off, mainly because I value my privacy. It seems a little strange, and I'm wondering if this is them trying to get the, trying to get data if I'm trying if I'm driving for some other app delivery apps. I do multi-app with Uber Eats and Dash at the same time, and they could, of course, see my location anyway, since I have both apps running. I'm just wondering if others have had this new update, or is it just me and my market? Also, do you have any other thoughts as to why DoorDash wants the location settings running in the background at all time, uh, all, all the time? Is this some safety reason or something else? Of course, if you do a YouTube video on this, feel free to use my name if you like. Love the channel and value your information. Regards, Sam. So, Sam, thank you for reaching out. Really appreciate your thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, that is definitely very strange that they are asking for it to run in the background all the time and that you have to manually turn it on and off every time. Uh, that is very strange. Um I think it may have something to do with the multi-apping because that is one thing that they have been trying to cut down on for at least the past two or three years because they know people are cherry picking. They know people are multi-apping, which we are completely allowed to do. But there have been reports from people saying that drivers who run two or three apps at the same time have been deactivated for that and everything. I don't I don't necessarily have 100% confirmations of that, but there have been stories uh, circulating throughout the driver community over the past year or two of instances of this happening. Um, so if anybody wants to provide any other additional information, put it down below in the comments section. But going forward, uh, it is very strange that they are making such a requirement, uh, you know, with the location services. And it absolutely is definitely very fishy, but it's DoorDash we're talking about. I mean, look, Grubhub, Uber Eats are, are getting just as sneaky as DoorDash because they're, they're basically looking at it like this. They want to just get out as many deliveries as they humanly possibly can in, you know, in the least amount of time to make the most amount of money. They're not really focusing on quality anymore. So it is what it is at this point. But Going back to what you're saying here, you know, you should value your privacy. Absolutely. 110%. I would, you know. So with that being said, it seems like your theory holds water, um, that they are doing this to try and see, you know, where you're going and what you're doing and whatnot, because what other reason would they need your location services running all the time for, you know, they might want to see is DoorDash your primary app? Is Grubhub or Uber Eats your your primary app? Because I guess if they see you driving around to other restaurants or whatever, maybe they're trying to put two and two together. Or I could be completely off. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not claiming to have this as a confirmation that this is exactly why, but your theory does make sense. So drivers, dashers, 
Put your thoughts and theories down below in the chat or the comments. Do you think what Sam is saying makes sense? It doesn't make sense. Let us know, but please be respectful. And of course, guys, if you ever have anything you'd like to share with me, uh, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Uh, it's, it's the easiest way to uh, get in touch with me. And uh, with that being said, uh, if you guys want a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That's right, everybody. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, uh, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. So just making a note here. We've got John Birchfield and we've got newcomer David Moore. So David, thank you for signing up. Appreciate that. Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, with that being said, if you guys want to sign up, links in the description down below. Definitely go and check that out. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below. Be sure to check that out. Uh, it'll, uh, where it says get the free gas app, just scroll down the page, give that a click. And, uh, from that point, it'll tell you, uh, how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. And then from there, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid, uh, every time they pump gas, it's called Get Up, uh, Get Upside. Uh, go check it out. Links down below. And of course, if you guys want to get one of these awesome, all right, all right, all righty, all right, vintage paid to drive shirts, they're available at paydtodrivestore.com because we've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paydtodrivestore.com. Definitely go check that out. And with that being said, everybody, uh, you know, you guys know the deal. You guys know the deal. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment right now saying END348, END348. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying LIKED, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. Let's see how many people do it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.